everyone welcome back to family experience for 2023 Woo. we're so excited to have you with us today Woohoo! today it's all about knowledge this month harrison yeah. what is knowledge and knowledge is learning something new so that you can be better at whatever you do every day we learn new things and that can help us grow and change to be who god has created us to yeah. be we can learn new facts to change our minds we can learn new skills or sports to grow our bodies we can learn more about God so that we can grow closer to Him. And after all, God is the source of all knowledge. As we read in our memory verse, Proverbs 2 verse 6, The Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge and understanding come from His mouth. That is so awesome. We thought that we'd play an, a, a fun game where we have to use our brains. Have you got a brain, Haz? Oh yeah, I do. Good. So what we're going to do is in a minute, we're gonna, uh, going to put a picture up of some different words that sound like a phrase. Mm. And the point of the game is for you to say these words out loud and see if you can guess what the phrase is. And we're going to do the first one together so you get the idea, okay? All, All right, right, let's see the first picture. Okay, well... Jog, clay, die, scream. What does that sound like? Jog, clay, die, scream. Mm, jog, clay, die, scream. I think it sounds like chocolate ice Ooh, cream. That was, that was quite hard, but quite fun. Yeah, all right. Do you guys get it? Okay, we're going to put the word up and you have to guess what it is. First one, go, Haz. High, dance, eek. Hmm, high, dance, eek. High, dance, eek. Oh, Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Okay, next one. Here we go. P sank white. P, P sank white. white. What does that sound like? Peace. Have you got it? I think so. How about... Oh, peace, peace and quiet. Yes, that's right. Good job, Hazza. All right, what about this next one? Bat, tree, snot, ink, looted. Ooh. 
Batteries not included. Bat batteries not included. Bat batteries not. Batteries. Batteries not. Batteries not. Batteries not. Not included. Included. Batteries not included. Nice. Okay, next one. How about hype people earth the hey? Hype people earth the hey. Hype people. Earth the hey. The hey. Kind of sounds like day. Hype people happy. Happy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Oh, nice. All right. And last one, Isle of View. Isle of View. Isle, Isle of, of View. Isle. Have you got it? Oh, oh, I love you. Oh, why? Thank you, Harrison. That is so sweet. Hey, no worries, Nathan. I love you. You too. <laughs> wow, well, that game was so fun. That was quite hard, though. But I'm glad that we got, actually got that. I didn't realise how many funny ways there are to say different words. It is funny how our mind can play tricks on us. Those are all phrases that, you know, we know, made up of words, we know. But it took us a while to actually get them correct. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully our Bible story today doesn't play any tricks on us. So let's get into it. Hey everyone. Now, you might remember that Jesus had a cousin, right? who was six months older. His name was John, and he had been sent by God to help get people's hearts ready to hear the words of Jesus. Turn away from your sins. The kingdom of heaven has come near. People streamed out from Jerusalem and the whole region of Judea to see the show, and many people actually listened. John baptized these people in the murky water of the Jordan River as a sign that from now on, their lives would be different. I baptize you with water, but after me, someone is coming who is more powerful than I am. The Jewish religious leaders heard tales of this dynamic new guy on the scene. So they sent priests and teachers to discover just who this John was. Who are you? Are you the one God promised to rescue us? <laughs> I am not the Messiah. Well then, are you Elijah? No. What about the prophet? Nope. Just give us an answer. I'm just a messenger. But someone is standing among you whom you do not know. I am not good enough to untie his sandals. God had already spoken to John about the Messiah. God told him, you will see the Spirit come down and remain on someone. He is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now around this time, Jesus himself came to John at the Jordan River. They were cousins, but John already knew that Jesus was special. I want you to baptize me. What? No, I need to be baptized by you. So why do you come to me? Let it be this way for now. It is right for us to do this. It carries out God's holy plan. So John dipped Jesus down into the waters of the Jordan. And as Jesus rose up out of the water, God sent his spirit to rest on him like a dove. A voice from heaven echoed, This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Now maybe this is when John recalled God's words and put all the pieces together. Jesus was God's chosen one. The next day, John was with several of his followers and spotted Jesus walking past. Look, the Lamb of God. Unlike the religious leaders, these men were quick to hear the truth about Jesus. They hurried after him. Rabbi! Jesus turned to the two men. What do you want? One of them named Andrew said, Rabbi, where are you staying? Come, you will see. Andrew and his friend followed Jesus and spent the rest of the day with him. They were so amazed by Jesus that Andrew immediately went and told his brother, Simon Peter, that they had found the Messiah. Then Peter began to follow Jesus too. These men heard the truth about Jesus and immediately followed him. The religious leaders heard the truth, well, and didn't believe it. But some of John's followers heard what he had to say and didn't like it. Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of the river is baptizing people. You know, the one you told us about. Everyone's leaving you and following him. It was true. Many people had begun to follow Jesus instead of John. But John wasn't upset. You yourselves are witnesses that I said I am not the Messiah. I was sent ahead of him. 
he must become more important. I must become less important. Well, yeah, but are you, like, okay with it? The Father loves the Son and has put everything into his hands. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life. John had spent his life listening to God, so he discovered the truth about Jesus and shared it with everybody he met. And everyone who truly listened knew that Jesus was the one to follow. The end. It's pretty cool how John believed that Jesus was the Savior. Mm -hmm. And because of that, Andrew, Peter, and so many others put their faith in Jesus too. Mm -hmm. God had given John this important purpose, to baptize people and prepare them to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. John spent his life doing that because he knew the truth about who Jesus really is. Yeah, remember, when you discover something new, it can change you. That's true for a lot of different things in life. Maybe there's someone at school who says something mean to you and you're not sure why. It would be easy to be mean back, but then you find out that their kid's family is going through something tough at home. That helps you understand a little bit more about why they might act out at school. And it makes you want to try to be their friend and yeah. be nice to them when they're going through such a difficult time. You know, when you discover something new, it can help you step up and make a difference for others. It can help you make wise choices because you can see things the way that they really are. Mm. Oh, of course, the most important thing that you can discover is that Jesus is God's son. Yeah, and once you discover who Jesus really is, you can put your trust in him and follow him, just like Andrew and Peter did in our story today. You can have a relationship with Jesus that will grow and change as you learn all these new things. And God's Holy Spirit will work inside of you to make you more and more like Jesus every single day. You know, I know a great place where you can discover tons of new things about God. With our family question today, what is it, Harrison? Our family question is, when have you discovered something new? When did what you discovered start to change the way you lived? Think about how this gives us a picture of what it means to also be a follower of Jesus. And if you're not sure how you'd answer some of those questions, that's totally fine. Grab your family or someone who is older and ask them the question too. It can be helpful to hear how other people might feel or answer these questions. Then when you're done, head on to our Kids Space Facebook page for another episode of The So-and-So Show. See you guys. When I am scared of what I don't know When I'm afraid 